Welcome to part two. It's Demo Donna from Queen and & Company and I'm going to be showing you the remaining four as well as the beautiful bow assembly for the Jolly Jingle Shaker set. Jolly Jingles! So I'm going to be showing you the present stack, the elf hat legs, and Christmas tree. And we are again going to be following the fabulous die guide included in your kit. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this video. To create our bow here, you are gonna be adding these different layers, which just creates this beautiful detailed bow look. So you're gonna need these four dies. This little die here is the same die used on the bottom present. So be aware that there's a smaller, skinnier one that's used on the hat. So know the difference between this tiny one here and this one that's a little bit thicker that is the wrap around the bow. So to get started, I am going to take a little bit of rolly adhesive just for extra support when I am putting my bow together. And I'm gonna layer the straight lined bow on top of the scalloped edge bow. And this looks really cute when you also layer with a white background, which is what I've done here. So really fun to play with the colors and the different layers for your bow. I'm gonna do all red just to follow the die line here. So I've got my two different bow dies layered together. Now the trick to making this really simple is the 1 8 inch red liner tape. So I've now stuck that in the middle. I'm going to peel off that backing and now I have my little strip hanging here and it's probably about two and a half inches of red liner tape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my beautiful tool here from the Queen & Co toolkit, and I'm gonna curl both of my sides. This way, when you're folding your paper together, it's more natural and it doesn't just fold in half. So I'm going to now wrap my red liner tape around one time, putting adhesive in the back, folding that over, and by fold, I mean pulling that over. I'm not folding my paper. And now I'm going to come around again with my red liner tape. There we go. And bring these tabs into the center. And I just then take my fingernail tools and push those together in the center. Okay, now we are going to layer our backing here and you just want to center that down and that die provides a cute, like your edging of your, your ribbon tails. So now I've got my cute bow and my ribbon tails. Last but not least, you're going to take that center piece here and what I do is I start on the bottom, push that down. I'm going to take my fingernail tools again, push that down and then I'm going to go wrap it and I've got this red liner tape here still so I'm going to wrap it all the way, all the way back here and that completely goes to the right place. Now I've got this little tail of red liner tape left. I am gonna trim that. I'm gonna take what I have left over here, trim that in half. And now I've got adhesive ready to go for my bow when I add that to my next project. So I'm gonna just pop this on a nonstick piece of paper. That helps versus your finger tool sometimes. Just go and round those edges a little bit more. Okay. 
There we go. And now you have a very beautiful, very detailed bow to pop on top of any of your super cute Jolly Jingles shakers. Now that we have completed our bow, the next item we are going to create is the present stack. So again, I'm going to start with my outline die and I've got ahead and cut that out in white. And then we are going to create our shaker. So the foam present stack is one piece with the three different sections, which is really nice. I'm going to go ahead and remove the protective backing and layer that onto my outline die. Pop out those three sections. And I, again, am just using the colors that are in the die guide, but this is going to be really fun in all sorts of different colors, adding in your glitter foam as accents. So have fun with this really change it up. That's going to be exciting. To add in my toppings, I am going to use the toppings included in the kit as well as some jelly gems and some pops. Okay, now that I've filled all of my little sections, I'm going to remove that protective layer, add on my acetate, and then we are going to put our present together. All right, here are our little shaker sections for our present. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the sheer glue. And just like the presents here, I did the white for my top one, set that on, red for the center one, and green for my bottom present. And as you can see, there is room for them to actually stack. All right, next you have three different dies for your ribbon look. So you've got these two, and then this is the same die that you use to create the inside of your bow, and that goes on your last present. So I'm gonna just add a little bit of sheer glue to each of these and just layer them right over top of my acetate. And there you go, there are your gifts. And then pop my beautiful bow right on top. And then there is the fabulous present stack. The next shaker we are gonna create from the Jolly Jingles set is the adorable elf hat and legs. So cute, really, really fun. And I'm gonna add in some glitter foam accents to it as well. So to get started, I am going to take the outline die, which is available separately, a great add-on to all of your shaker kits. And I'm gonna take the double-sided foam included in your kit, remove the protective backing from just that outside layer, add my foam down, pop that up, And now I'm going to take some of the beautiful opalescent green balls included in your kit and throw some of those in my hat as well as the pops and the jelly gems. That really helps peel off that protective backing. I'm going to take my acetate piece and set that right on there. So now I have my elf hat shaker. We're going to take some sheer glue, do a thin layer, and then add on my All right, now that I've got my elf hat assembled, I am going to take the next piece here, which is a, another decorative element, add a little bit of sheer glue and stick that right on there. Take his legs. We are going to put his shoes together first. So here is his socks. It is a die that is attached. So you've got two larger pieces parallel to each other. And those are the socks. His shoes come in two different dies. So you've got the left and the right shoe. 
And I am just simply going to take a little strip of red liner tape to adhere both of those. Add a little rolly adhesive. Stick my shoes on. Using this striped paper, you can make sure you're lining your shoes up on the same spot on each side. So I went to about the same place on each sock. Now I'm gonna add that little decorative element, a little ruffle. I'm sticking a little red liner tape on the back to where I'm gonna attach his socks. I'm gonna just simply set my socks out together and then just come over with my hat and layer that down. So now I've got his, so cute. Now the last die here. So this die you're gonna cut out twice. Once with whatever color you want your little decorative ruffle to be. And then the second one with what you want your little like bells to be on his shoes. So I did the gold, the gold glitter foam. So you've also got the bell. Now, because I'm gonna have it hanging off a little bit, I have a little circle left over from the white of my tires. You could also use just like a circle little hole punch or just leave it plain. But I just wanted a little extra something behind my bell to make it pop. So I just stuck a little white cardstock. So there is your adorable little elf and hat shaker. Okay, we have two left that we are gonna assemble. And the two that I left for last are pretty simple assembly. I'm going to start with the Christmas tree, which is the decorative die and the actual tree stump. I did include the outline die, so that is available separately. I am going to take my outline die to create the base. So I'm going to take my tree here, grab my double-sided foam, remove the backing, stick that on, pop that out. Fill in our shaker. I'm gonna use some of the green pearlescent included in my shaker card in my kit. Some of the pops and some of the jelly gems. Now I've got the base of my shaker remove the protective cover over that second side of adhesive. 